My name is Chuck Dreyer, and it's my pleasure to serve as your Master of Ceremonies today for this, for this great celebration. Today, we, the city, will be recognizing, and I hear some hollering out in the back already, the city will be recognizing our country's men and women who have served and are currently serving in the armed forces. As a former Marine Corps Sergeant, I recognize and understand the commitment that these folks are giving and have given over the years. And I have the deepest respect for what they do today and what they have done in the past. Now, as a former Marine, I also recognize that today is the 235th birthday of the United States Marine Corps. Well, now in the Marines, we do it a little bit differently than that. Instead of applause, how many Marines do we have here with us? All right, guys, here we go for the Marine Corps. Hoorah! We will also highlight the latest re recipients of Anaheim's Military Banners Program, which you see here in front of you. These eight new banners that flank today's stage will soon join the 30 banners currently on display throughout the city of Anaheim. What a privilege it is for me to join all of you here at the special city of Anaheim Veterans Day event, paying tribute to and saluting our military veterans, and those who are currently served. Let us always remember the contribution of the veterans to our great country. Let us never forget men and women who dedicated their lives to military, to military service, and may our future generation never lose an appreciation for their service, their life stories, and the value of freedom which they have violently fought. I recognize patriotism, not by serving in the service, but by seeing my brother go off to war in the Navy. He served in the, in the Pacific uh, Theater, uh, my oldest brother. My second oldest brother was uh, plying the waters of the Pacific as well as a merchant marine. Both of them in high peril during those times. Uh, My mother cried every day, every day. They were gone. That has a tremendous impact on a young child. Um, my tears are not, and I am not moved for my own emotions and my own experiences but those of those who were left home, the children, the mothers, the fathers, the uncles, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews, all of the families that are crying every day, like my mother did. Your heart can't help but feel with, be filled with pride but your heart should also be filled with gratitude. And when we do a formal recognition like this, it is not just because I want to acknowledge the sacrifices of the members of our armed, for armed forces are confronted with each day. It is because you who come here can also recognize the sacrifices that they make each day. And it is particularly significant in this time of crisis when we have pearls across the country and, I, and con around the world in Iraq and Afghanistan, that people are willing to sign up and join the armed forces and go to these perilous places. 
But the people who are left behind, the families, the loved ones, the wives, the mothers, they truly are the ones who are making the sacrifices because their heart is breaking at all times. That's why ha we have this wonderful banner program so we can in some way honor those who are in the armed forces from Anaheim. So I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today. Thank you for the commitment of your young ones who have gone into the armed services. And for those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, you will always be in our hearts and our prayers. So God bless each and every one of you. God bless Anaheim and God bless the USA. Thank you. But the reality is that our men and women are serving in 120 different countries around the world today as we speak. And the brunt of the sacrifice in these last 10 years have been for our military families. And of course, for our veterans who return. Some, I just met one who's uh, getting discharged from the Marines. He lost an eye. And I wonder, how will we reintegrate? Because in a sense, that's what Veterans Day is about also. How we welcome back these people who have served our country and have served us. Some of them laying down their lives and some of them coming back in some ways feeling that their lives are destroyed. And we have to ask ourselves, what are we going to do to help them? I began flying combat missions in Vietnam in April of 1968, delivering troops and supplies, evacuating casualties and prisoners, and depositing smoke screens in front of enemy gun emplacements. By mid-May, I had lost three aircraft and two pilots to enemy action and a crash. By June, I was transferred to the gun platoon. Helicopter gunships don't carry troops and supplies. Gunships are heavily armed attack helicopters that only fly and fight. And for the next six months, I flew nearly every day. Took a lot of fire, but gave as good as we got. I learned that there is no stronger bond between men than there is between men who've been in combat together. And that bond transcends rank, age, race, religion, background, social status, and even 35 years of separation. So, is it ever appropriate for the words love and war to coexist in the same sentence? I believe you veterans here today know the answer. And do you have any idea how extraordinary you are? There's not many of you, and your numbers are shrinking. And you vets have lived, shaped, and made history. To paraphrase Ronald Reagan, some people spend a lifetime wondering if they've made a difference in this world. Our military won't have that problem. Today's veteran ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, focuses the attention on veterans of past wars, but it also allows us to provide a spotlight for those currently serving in the military. In 2009, the city of Anaheim created the Military Banner Program, and you see examples here of our new honorees. It is a way for the city to recognize Anaheim residents currently serving our country. The city's website has a dedicated page which highlights these men and women with a photograph and a short biography. Veterans Day is the day that we really honor those who have represented and fought for the freedoms and the institutions that are the United States. Um, some of them have gone off to war, some of them have served here, some of them have made it a career, some have only gone for two or four years, but it's really a time when we take a look and we honor uh, those who have been willing to give the ultimate, that is, they've put their lives on the line. Yeah, I feel really appreciated to be a veteran. Um, I, uh, it's kind of hard for me right now because uh, I know I have uh, brothers that are still in Afghanistan right now fighting, and I should be there with them, but uh, obviously due to my accident, I'm here. And it hurts a lot because uh, I really want to be there with them. But uh, it's not really just to honor the ones that uh, are here today in, our, in the States, it's really honored them, the ones that are overseas, but to honor everybody uh, that served 
in their country before. Well, the military banner program that the city of Anaheim has started a year or so ago is wonderful because it recognizes the men and women in service who are deployed around the world, who are from Anaheim. So it gives an acknowledgement that we respect them, we honor them, and we know that their families are suffering. So this is a way to, to do a tribute to their families who can actually go by the street, see their son or daughter, and say, gee, somebody really cares about what my son or daughter has done and cares about me as a family member. You know, the, the military banner program itself was just amazing. And, and the opportunity for him to select a photo that he wanted to have uh, yeah, I, I, when he selected this photo, I was particularly pleased because it just sort of, it shows his personality and, and uh, <laughs> he has a great, uh, he's had a great experience. Uh, he thrives when it's harder, uh, so give him a tough environment and, and he, he's, uh, he's all in. And, and I think the structure that they've provided and and the quality of people in the military uh, that he's interfaced with was incredible, you know, impressive. Veterans Day to me is a, a special day. I grew up as a military dependent. I lived on Air Force bases, born in Germany, lived in England, lived in Virginia. My dad spent a year in, in Thailand during the Vietnam War. Um, one of my greatest memories was seeing my dad receive a medal from the President of the United States for his efforts in Thailand, having been shot down as a door gunner in a helicopter. So Veterans Day is that day where we formally remember all they've done for us. And, and there's no better way than getting people together at an event like today and reminding them that we do appreciate what they've done and that, that it does mean something to us. It's important to say thank you for every, to every vet. And we do that uh, on a Veterans Day. Uh, we say thank you as collectively. But we as, uh, as citizens of Anaheim have chosen the, the military banner program to say thank you to those folks who, uh, who make the sacrifice, those who, who live in Anaheim, those who pass through Anaheim. They see the banner, they know that we are committed to saying thank you to our military folks.